good afternoon. We're here at Sackwell at the Blacksmith's Forge. Um, and we're just going to go inside and our blacksmith Dave is going to be explaining how to make a simple coat hook. Uh, it's quite noisy in the forge so we're sorry if you can't hear everything. Um, it's just the nature of the environment. I'll do my best to speak loudly and to encourage Dave to say things so that you can hear what we're talking about. So in we go. This is our forge. We'll just be a minute. Hi there's Dave. Dave give us a wave. There he is. I'm just going to close up the door behind me and then we'll go over and see what Dave's up to today. Okay, Dave, so what are we going to be doing this afternoon? We're going to be making a simple coat hook. Excellent. And is that something people can do here at Sacral when they visit? Yes, that's one of the options we do for our half hour taking set. Brilliant. We're making it out of 8 mil round. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the scroll on the end. So we have to squash the material down, let it expand. We can it down. Okay, so we're heating up the metal to start with, and then we're going to be squashing the end down to get it to curl around. Um, so our coat hook sessions just cost fifteen pounds plus your farm admission fee, um, and they're available with Dave whenever he's here. He is here on uh, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays. But if you're really keen to come and do blacksmithing, please do give us an email and just check that he's available. Because sometimes we have half day or full day workshops on, um, which you can find more details of on our website. Um, and if he's busy doing a full day, he's not got the space to do taster sessions as well. Wow, that's a big fire. Dave, how's it going? Good, you ready? So, I'm going to squash the end now. one of these? 14. 14? And upwards. And upwards, brilliant. And I'm we just going to tighten this scroll up a little bit. Just so you don't have to catch it up there. Can I there zoom in on it? Oh wow! That's fantastic, that was a flat bit of metal just a minute ago. So I'm just going to give it a little clean. So Dave's just making a cup hook here at the farm this afternoon. So far we've started with an 8mm bar, is that correct Dave? Yep. And we've heated it up and made a, a scroll on the end of it. It's gone back into the bar, so what's next? We're going to do the big hoop now. Okay. We're going to bend that round on a tool. Fits into the hardy hole. Into the hardy hole, is that what it's... hole on the anvil is called a hardy hole. Okay. Without you <laughs> And did you make this tool yourself? Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, handmade tools when you're blacksmithing. Dave thinks it's a great uh, career because it's the only thing that you do great. where you make all your own tools. Oh wow! Like that curved so easily. You can see the cut hooks really taking shape now. So the next bit I want to do is I want to put that little dent in it there. So I'm going to do that over the edge of the anvil. Just heating it back up. How hot's the fire, do you think, Dave? Do you know? I mean, it can melt the steel. The steel will start to melt about 1200 degrees. 1200 degrees? 
that easy gets to that heat. I've put that shoulder in there now. Oh yeah. Now I want to get this section here the same thickness as that section. So back in the fire, heat this bit up and make a nice uniform thickness along there. So Dave, how many years does it take to train to become a blacksmith? Um, well, you can, you can teach yourself to be a blacksmith or you can go to college or Get an apprenticeship, I suppose it all depends on how much time and effort you can put in. A lot of the courses at college are about a year to two years long, but you don't really start there until after you finish. <laughs> like a lot of things, then. where your nail or your, or your screw goes to attach your coat hook to the wall. So be using this to punch okay. the hole. And what's in there, Dave? Say again? What's in there? What are you dipping it in? Just pull the end out so I can still hold it. Ah. So, try and aim for the middle of the section. So I push a divot in one side yeah. and then I turn it round and I've got a round dot on the other side. I have to aim for the middle of that and try and knock that plug through and out. Like so. Oh uh, yeah, there's a hole through the middle of it. Fantastic. So nearly finished, yeah? Yeah. I'm just going to cut it off now. And how do you cut it off? With a big pair of scissors? Not quite. I use another tool that goes into the hardy hole. This is designed for allowing me to cut hot metal on it. Okay. It's got a sharp edge. So, find where I want to cut. it off on there. I just want to cut most of the way through the section so I can then just snap it off. Now we've basically got our hook. What I need to do now is get it nice and hot and tidy it up. Straighten the bits that need straightening and just neaten it up. Brilliant. And we were saying people can come down here and do this and it takes the average human about half an hour? Yeah, that's what we, we, we do all the smaller sessions in half an hour. So we only we allow it for half an hour. So Dave's done quite a few of these, so he's a bit quicker than that. So we've just done the straightening and tidying of the coat hook now. Everyday pliers you're using. I beg your Is that a pair of everyday pliers that you're using? Yeah, basically a pair of needle nose pliers. You can buy them anywhere. So, you give it a bit of a clean. You just want to take the majority of the scale off. Majority of the what? Scale. So when scale. you get it hot in the fire get like a coating on your steel. Oh yeah, those little lumpy bits. So we'll take that off. And is that, what kind of brush is it that you're using? Just a big heavy duty wire brush. Wow. I'm going to warm the hook up now. Then I'm going to dip it in some vegetable oil. The okay. vegetable oil will give it darkness, like give it a bit of texture coating. So 
vegetable oil to give it a protective coating. I didn't know blacksmiths use vegetable oil. <laughs> and it has to be hot before it goes in the oil. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be that hot. It just needs to be warm enough. Glowing metal always looks hot to me. Woo! That's exciting. Exciting. Yeah. Is that the oil burning as it went in there? Yes, because the steel's hot enough to ignite the oil. Wow. Because it's only a small piece, it only ignites a little bit. Yeah. So, I'm going to burn the excess oil off in the fire and then we are done. Oh, this video does not have scent, but there's a definite smell with that burning vegetable oil. It makes me want some chips. <laughs> And that extra flame is the oil burning off, is that correct? Yeah. So this is giving it a protective coating. Brilliant. Hi, Ben. And is this the finished coat hook? Fantastic. Lovely, that's really nice. And so that's what you one of the options for things you can make on a half hour taster session here at Sackwell. Um, it just costs £15 plus your farm admission. We do have lots of other things that you can make. We got anything else you'd like to show us, babe? We have a simple bottle opener. Looks like a very handy thing to have in your pocket. And imagine having one that you've made yourself. So these are the three things that we do in our half hour taster sessions. You can make your simple coat hook, a simple bottle opener, or a heart pendant. You can attach um, a string to this one to hang it around your neck, or you can use it as a decoration in another way. And Dave does also make other beautiful items. Uh, these are more things he makes himself rather than things that you could do as a visitor here. Over here we've got some lovely examples. There's a beautiful lily that he's made out of metal. Um, and there's lots of little bits and pieces there. You can see the heart being used as a pendant and another bottle opener. Um, and on the front we've got some lovely linked horseshoe hearts which are beautiful as well. So if you fancy making any of these items and you'd like to get in touch with Dave about doing your own piece of uh, metal work in one of our blacksmithing workshops, um, then check out our website and you'll find the right email address uh, to get in touch by. Um, you can also book tickets directly through our website for a full day of blacksmithing, a half day of blacksmithing, or there's details there about the taster sessions as well. Thank you very much, Dave. You can say bye.